Welcome to this video of the South Africa Netherlands Cybersecurity School. My name is Jarne Bühle and today I'll be your host on this video on AI regulation and its implications for Africa. These past few years we've all come in contact with AI and how it can be misused by state and non-state actors and maybe most important of all how AI collects and analyzes large amounts of personal data that can violate data privacy and security. When looking at Africa, it has a few extra challenges, namely, first of all, politically. AI can increase division in politics, both at the national level and inf international level. Infrastructure, both digital and physical infrastructure, can be vulnerable to cyber attacks. And last of all, the implications of AI can increase the wealth gap from those that benefit from it and those that lag behind. Therefore, AI regulation is needed. When we look at current AI regulation, there are two different approaches. First, you have the EU AI Act, which has a risk-based approach. AI systems are categorized from the highest level those, those are the unacceptable risks, namely the AIs that use biometric information and therefore can't be allowed to be implemented in society, and AIs all the way to the minimal risks, such as the AIs we use to keep our emails clean from spam. And the other approach is the Chinese one with the new generation AI development plan, which has a dual emphasis. On the one side, AI should be investment in, and singular AI issues should be addressed in legislation. Our advice for AI regulation in Africa is first off that current legislation needs more enforcement capabilities. We have the South Africa Information Regulatory, or for example, the International EU Data Policy Framework, which have high wishes for AI regulation, but need more enforcement capabilities to really make a difference. Then future AI regulation needs to keep in mind the importance of data protection, transparency and accountability, and environmental sustainability, so that AI can benefit everyone in society in the short and long term. If you'd like to read more about this topic, we would highly recommend reading either of these two books. And 